What's up, fight fans? This is the kind of tea you don't want to miss. Y'all already know Floyd Mayweather's been living the high life in Dubai, flexing from the penthouses to those Bugattis, thinking he'd hit the jackpot in his personal paradise. But guess what? It all came crashing down because Floyd got deported from Dubai. That's right. Dubai straight up gave him the boot. And now, just minutes ago, he's finally breaking his silence. What's his excuse? What's his story? Buckle up, because we're about to dig into every juicy detail. So, let's rewind a little and talk about why Dubai was the perfect playground for Floyd. This man was living there. You could scroll through his Instagram and see him dripping in diamonds, cruising around in custom cars, and posting up in his penthouse overlooking the Burj Khalifa like he owned the place. And honestly, he kinda did for a minute there. Dubai's been his personal getaway spot. No taxes, no hassles, just pure luxury. And for a guy like Floyd, who loves to flex and stay in the limelight, Dubai was like a dream setup. Money man, I'm right here in Dubai. Go tennis star, luxury rentals. Check them out. When you come to Dubai, top flight, follow me. We got everything. McLaren in different colors. Ferraris, Lambos, whatever you want. Rolls Royce, Bugatti, whatever you want. When you come to Dubai, it's the place to be. Check it out. Crazy colors. Come on, man. Live flashy like Floyd Mayweather. Rotana style. Whatever you want, they got Rotana Star. But here's the thing. Dubai's got super strict laws. Yes, they love luxury and wealth, but they don't play when it comes to following their rules. No matter how famous or rich you are, you mess around with the law and they'll show you the door, no hesitation. And for Floyd, that's exactly what happened. Now, you're probably wondering what went down. What did Floyd do that was so bad it got him deported? Here's the scoop. According to reports, Dubai police raided Floyd's mansion after they got tipped off about some suspicious activity. And Dubai's police? They don't play. You slip up even a little, they're on you. So when they raided his place, it wasn't for a random house check. They were looking for something. Turns out they found exactly what they were looking for. And it wasn't pretty. From what we've pieced together, Floyd had some banned substances chilling in his mansion. And when we say banned substances, we're talking about performance enhancers and maybe some other stuff that Dubai is super strict about. Over there, certain substances can get you years in prison or worse. And supposedly, this wasn't just a small stash. He had enough to raise serious concerns. But that's not all. We're hearing whispers that Floyd also had some cash or documents that didn't play along well with Dubai's financial rules. Money and Floyd? That's no shocker. But here's the thing. Dubai's got crazy strict financial laws. You can't just roll in with wads of cash or secret accounts without explaining where it came from. And word is, he might have even owed money to some powerful people out there. Imagine borrowing $2 million from Steve Marcano just to keep some folks happy. For a guy like Floyd, this was a huge hit to the ego and the bank account. Me and Eric B were at, um, from Eric B and Rakim, we were at the Mondrian. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather was there. Mm. He had some tax issues. Um, he was about to go to jail, but that's before M Money Mayweather, that's pretty boy Floyd. Got you. He was speaking to E, he needed a couple of million dollars to stay out of jail. Mm. I called my man Neil, who I was rocking with heavy, he mm -hmm. owns Scunty, the hair accessory company. Everybody thought I was crazy, they said, yo, loan me, loan me two million, I wanna sign Floyd. Mm. He flew out, loaned me the two million, and um, from now on, we were in the boxing business. Tank Davis had a good laugh about that one. So here's
here's where it gets real. After finding the substances and the suspicious money, Dubai authorities reportedly didn't waste a second. They brought Floyd in for questioning, and before he could even think of a way out, boom, deported. Dubai doesn't do, please explain yourself, or let's go to court if you're famous. They quietly show you the door, especially if it's someone high profile like Floyd. And that's exactly what happened here. This is the kicker, y'all. Floyd's been silent. Nothing on social media, no statement, not a word about what happened until now. You know Floyd loves showing off his life and clapping back at drama, so his silence? It was loud, but finally, we got something. He posted a video, and let's just say, it's got everyone talking. All right, so Floyd finally broke his silence, and you can bet people are tuning in. He dropped this cryptic video from his new spot in Upper Manhattan, and this video took the internet by storm. He said something along the lines of, people can make up whatever stories they want. I know who I am. I'm Floyd Mayweather, and no one's taking that away from me. He doesn't dive into any specifics, doesn't admit to the substances or the financial stuff, but it's clear he's feeling the heat. Floyd continued, Sometimes people want to see you fail. They want to tear down everything you built, but I don't go down easy. And in true Floyd fashion, he ends the video saying, I got something big planned. Y'all think this is the end? Just wait. So, with Dubai out of the picture, where does Floyd go? Well, he's already made himself cozy in a new multi-million dollar penthouse in Upper Manhattan. Sources are saying it's got views of the entire city skyline, floor to ceiling windows, basically everything. It's everything you'd expect from Floyd, but moving from Dubai to Manhattan? That's a vibe shift, if we've ever seen one. Dubai was all about luxury, sunshine, and a slower pace. Manhattan? That's the hustle and grind, skyscrapers, and chaos. State is a big house, a palace, a castle, whatever you guys want it to be. <laughs> Come on, man, this is, this is a palace. This place is huge. It's a... Uh... I mean, we've seen the clips on uh, social media. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've definitely seen the clips on social media, okay. but, but to be here in person, it is... It's kind of ironic. Floyd spent so much time talking about how he escaped the hustle of America for the paradise of Dubai, and now he's back in the middle of the New York hustle. But if anyone can adapt, it's Floyd. He's made a career out of dodging punches, so maybe this is just another hit he's got to take like a champ. The big question now is, what's next for Floyd? Like, how does this affect his legacy and career? Let's keep it real. Dubai was a huge part of Floyd's lifestyle. He was hosting events there, making business deals, and even rumored to be working on some big money ventures. Now, with that door slammed shut, he's going to have to rethink his strategy. Will he double down on his U.S. presence and do more fights here? Maybe set up some new ventures in Manhattan? Only time will tell. Of course, social media has been going wild over this news. Fans are shocked, but not entirely surprised, because drama seems to follow Floyd wherever he goes. Fighters in the boxing world have been throwing in their two cents, too. Gervonta Tank Davis, Floyd's former protege, took a sly jab at his old mentor on Twitter. Something along the lines of, can't run forever. You know Tank's been shading Floyd ever since they had that fallout. Tank and Floyd in the same country. If these two cross paths, you just know it's going down, especially when Tank tweeted this a while ago. Floyd wasn't happy about this either, so there's definitely gonna be more drama dropping between these two fighters. My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, But over the years, 
is constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.